Hey folks, just thought I'd make you a quick little video of um, what I get up to in the mornings at the minute. So I've got all these feed, big bulk feeders uh, with grain that we've hammer milled and added salt, sulphur, bicarb, magnesium sulphate, a few odds and sods in it to stop them gorging it and to do a little bit of mineral replacement. Uh, we'll turn the camera around and you can see just how dry it is here. It's actually a very overcast day. Hello, Cam. Something to be excited about that maybe we're going to get some rain. There is talk of it, so it's pretty exciting. Got a little, wherever they are, what? Little calf. Three little calves to start the season. These are all. First calf heifers. So, yeah, and also from a different bull that I've been using. So, this is from the speckly fella, not from the big red fella. Yes, you very friendly little cow. So, yeah, first calf, calf heifers. I'll tap their feed down and we'll um, go and see the big cows. I actually stopped tapping it down as often for these girls because they were just standing here constantly eating it. I wanted to work for it a little bit more. They certainly want me to do something for them. I guess that's what generally happens when I turn up, I'm doing something for them. <laughs> so, just up on top of one of the big feeders, I thought I'd show you inside and see what's going on. The grain just all pushes against the sides and uh, creates pressure against itself that holds it up that so won't let it peer through the bottom. You can put chains and things inside that the cattle move that helps pull it down. But Always a good sight sitting on top of the feeder. What? Oh, you want something as well? At least I get to escape them up here, otherwise they're chasing me around for scratches. Two little babies. Little baby bull and the little baby heifer. Another little pellet over there. That's a little heifer as well actually. We should get um, a calf every couple of days until these girls are done. Actually, but most of them should have been put in the first month. The cows will be, the big cows will be slightly different. They didn't get quite as good a run as the So here we are down at the paddock where the older cows are. It's very dry down here as well. well I'm actually going to feed the cows out in a little access road between the paddocks today just to try to make this grain last a bit longer. So these girls have been around for a while I've only got to open a gate and stand here and they start coming to me. Come on girls! Where are you Min? Min? Go back Lucy. I'm going to have to 
to shut the gate or we'll have cows everywhere. Go back, naughty little dogs. Go back, Lucy. Go back, Lucy. Go back, Min. Go back, Sook. Go back, Minnie. The little one that you can see floating around is just a pup. That one out there, she's just well, learning. She's got her little pants on. Go back and get at the feeder there. But I think we've decided that these are the cows we're mustering and the Go back! Go back Lucy! Go back Lucy! trouble when you don't work your dogs often enough. <laughs> it does take a little bit of doing some days, but we do get the job done. Anyway, we'll be right now, they're all together. The dogs will keep them all together. Keep them on me. Hey big girls. But yeah, these ones, Minnie, come behind here. Min, come behind. Good girl. Yeah, that's the cows back in the paddock. I'm sitting in the car because it's windy as buggery outside. But um, yeah, it gives you some idea of how dry it is here at the moment. The cattle are doing fairly well, all things considered really. Um, just don't know where we're gonna go once that grain runs out and if the weather doesn't change. I haven't been able to source any more grain, so we may end up having to buy a feedlot mix, which is a lot more expensive. But anyway, at least I've gotten this far on grain that we milled ourselves. So that's all from me. I'll catch you on the next one.